and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from the Hive. And, and welcome, welcome to Floss, Floss Tube. Tube. We're so excited to be back with you today. I'm looking very tired. I'm like looking in the viewfinder and I'm just looking very, very tired. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I mean, I know why I don't have like makeup on or really. Any I mean, I have a little bit on, but I'm just looking very tired today for no reason. It's still beautiful. Well, it's snowing here. I love, like, I love the snow. It's my favorite time of like weather. And I know I'm, I'm not very popular in that opinion, but that's okay. Uh, and so it's just been like a dreary day. We've done some stitching. Um, we're getting ready to go to dinner at a friend's house for waffles. Breakfast for dinner is always a good choice. I agree. Yes. So, uh, we've had a big week. Uh, I have not gotten a ton of stitching done. I've gotten a lot of office work done. Um, as we have said a couple of times on our channel, look, I'm so tired and I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last week in our video. I promise it's washed. <laughs> um, anyway. I, we said this in our videos, we are going to market next week and we are so excited. This will be our very first uh, market and we're both looking so forward to it. And so we've been spending a lot of time this last week uh, researching for our class, writing curriculum for our class, and uh, just being in contact with our class attendees. Um, hi guys, which uh, we're very excited about. Yes. And so I've done a lot of clerical work for that. Um, I also have a big thing coming in March that is uh, required me to be at the computer basically one full day. And so I got all of that done and ready to go. And so we'll be releasing that information very soon. Wow. What a tease. Um, I know, what a tease, right? Um, and so those both have just been very, um, Yes, computery things, which I don't love. Computery things. Computery things. Mm. I don't love sitting at the computer all day. If I did, then I would have a different job, but I don't. And so, what? Nothing. You you do all the computer things. I know. You're the tech guy. That's what so. you dodge me as. Yes. Some know me as the tech guy. Yeah. You do. So, um, thank you for all of the comments last week. Our video uh, was really fun to make because we did hit such a big milestone. And so if you've not seen that video, let me tell you, you're gonna wanna go watch that entire video because there's some really good information in it. And um, you have until March 1st to watch that video. And so, what? Shameless plug. Shameless plug, you have until March 1st to watch that video. And um, then, yeah. So that was really, I appreciate all the comments. Very Everybody was comments. very excited for us. Yes. And so, um, that very eye-opening comments. Yeah. And that was like really special. The thing that was the most special for me is reading everyone's memories. And how funny is that? Like memories that we would not think of. I had no idea that y'all loved the 24 hours of cross stitch video <laughs> so much that y'all <laughs> loved seeing me just I mean, my demise through the whole video, like less and less makeup, greasier and greasier <laughs> hair. At one point then my hair is like on top of my head, like pebbles. I mean, like it was a journey, y'all. Yeah. We took a journey together that weekend. I didn't know that y'all love that so much. And so that's, I love doing the 24 hours. He doesn't, um, but it's something. You have to call me out like that. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. It's the prep work I don't like doing because it's. Yeah. It's not just sitting down and cross it. Don't get me wrong. I love filming and yeah. being in front of you guys and gals. Like, but it I, is I a lot. And Jen talks lot, about that it's too. A lot of it's a lot work. to film during the right. time too. And then I think it's then comical. you've got at least 45 to 40, 45 minutes to an hour of footage that you got to get through from 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Then that's only speaking two or three minutes between each hour. So, so it's it something that it's something that maybe on the yeah. next 24 hours, depending on what we're doing what our schedule looks like mm -hmm. um we'll be better prepared for prep yes for it because if you're gonna do 24 hours mm -hmm. in my book I might as well just film it yeah it's I do fun. Like, I if do... you guys like it that much then yeah we'll film, we'll it. film it so um and i love that y'all were so kind about our kids in the background um i we've shared before that we've had some comments that are like well can't you keep them quiet uh no we can't because there are children and they live here and uh no we're not going to ask them to be quiet and so, um, that was, was nice. yeah, that was really sweet to see very a lot nice. of your comments who like love that background noise, especially the one that was like, can't catch me. 
And that was recent. That was, re that was just a few weeks ago. Yep. Yeah. So all your comments were super sweet, super nice. I loved them all. It was really fun. It still is very fun to read through all of those. Yeah, and well, and I have the app on my phone on her channel, so um, I'll text her in the middle of the day and be like, "Hey, did you see this memory?" And yeah. you're like, "Oh yeah, that." Like that, I totally forgot about yeah, that. X Y Z. And, and how many people have been watching us from the very beginning? That's so incredibly that's so sweet. That's so awesome. That's, yeah. It's just yeah. very heartwarming. A fun little analytical fact for you. Did you know that 70% of the people who are watching right now don't actually subscribe to us? I do. 70% of y'all don't even subscribe. Like frowny face. No, it's not even that. But so what, what do subscriptions do for you? That's a loaded question. I mean, what do what what do then subscribing do for them? Uh, basically, it keeps them up to date on our videos yeah. and what we're doing through YouTube. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button mm -hmm. and you haven't hit the down um, menu, it says all. Do that yeah. uh, because that will definitely keep us or keep you up to date about us. Yeah. Um, and then. And it helps support us and our journey and um, all of those things. Uh, YouTube and how that whole thing works is very different now but it just helps us know that we have followers out there that are subscribed to us and that's who we are talking i mean we're talking towards everyone uh but it just helps like know that those people are there and um everything so subscriptions are very much in it for you as much as they are in it for us and you can be notified when we upload if you subscribe and hit the little bell you can be notified when we upload so that you can um Last night you were notified twice on the same video. I'm sorry. What happened? Um, I didn't know this. I was gone in a meeting. Yeah, I uploaded. And then I'm like, did I really watch it all the way through? Oh, goodness. Was there something wrong? You waited till we were on camera <laughs> to tell me this. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> got a, uh, everything was good. Um, it was just one of those things that it was, just, it was actually a blooper. Uh, a really funny blooper, um, but I took out of it before I uploaded it the first time to YouTube. So, oh. yeah, you were saying something, you're like, wow, that was a mouthful. And I'm like, cut. <laughs> so uh, I always I always thought about or thinking about a blooper wheel. I don't, yeah. I'm not sure if we're ever going to do that. We may I do that. I would love a blooper reel. I think it would be hilarious. Uh, since we started our channel, I said, keep all the funny parts. No, I because there's things that could be out of context, and I don't want to go True. down that that. True. that that uh, loophole. Um, I want to start with haul today. It's your channel. I want to start with haul because I forgot to show a piece of haul last week. We are uploading late this week because uh, we got the flu last week. When I say we, I mean it just thankfully, thankfully it just hit me on Sunday and I was able to quarantine myself enough to not spread it, which is phenomenal because when you have a kid who's been in the hospital for half of his life and his immune system is shot, like for him not to get it is definitely the Lord's blessing because yeah. So I got this um, when Keepsakes sent me all of Leanne's stitch along stuff. Yep. I had ordered this as well. And so this came in. This is Grand Old, Fra Gland Grand Old Flag from Brenda Gervais. I didn't know what Brenda! A, well, I didn't know what a frag was. <laughs> a frag. <laughs> so this is grand old flag and I love it. I cannot wait to start stitching this. I have really enjoyed kitting. I haven't stitched a lot of them yet. Um, I've kit a bunch of Brenda's stuff lately and called for. So if it calls for 40 count, I stitch it on 40 count and I haven't stitched it yet, but I'm, I'm enjoying kidding it in that and pushing myself to kind of talk about those. I think that's stretch. part of it, right? It's when you're, you're outside of your realm. Yes. So that was really exciting. We have an inchworm coming in a, with his blanket. We have a five-year-old inchworm. Five-year-old inchworm. Um, okay. So whips. You want to talk about that? I was going to go back to your comment about kidding. Oh, So sure. why, why are you kidding stuff? I'm prepping for when I want to start new things. Uh, but really I'm prepping for mania. <laughs> um, I wish y'all could see this behind us. Um, we are kind of individually like prepping for mania things. I have more than enough kits to work for mania for me this year and mania left over from last year that I didn't discard that I'm good. I just like to have them. So when I want to pull out a new start, then I can have that. As so. a monogamous stitcher in me, I'm like, no, um, I am starting for mania also, but 
I, I don't know what I want to do for Mania. I know like yeah. traditionally Mania, Mania is for something like set in stone, things like that. Of course, nowadays you can make Mania anything you want it. Sorry, I had to go bribe our child yeah. with food. Which what? is not hard. It was a timeout. Oh, I was like, what? It was a timeout. Yes. So, so I think I, what I was saying... I don't know. It's gonna oh, be funny. kidding things for mania. Yeah, and how mania is different. Yes. And I know tradition. There's a traditionalist of mania people, which awesome. There's yeah. people that want to, uh, you know, change things up, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, but I don't want to. I didn't start diving into mania, and I'm gonna like kick myself later for this. But I'm like, I don't have anything to start, which I'm okay with. Um, you have things now to start. You have things, I, kitted. I do. It's just Manama Stitcher and me. I'm kitted, like, that's not even the right word. That's not an actual word. It is when I use it 20 times. I know. Me too. Like, if we use it enough, it becomes an actual word. I think it's actually just kit up. There's no past tense. That might be verbiage that Kia B channel might use. Just kitted. Just what kitted. Planner ring. That was the other word y'all really liked that I made up is planner ring. Planner ring. Uh, anyway, so I, I don't want to kit things. And then my aesthetic changes again. It's what, what, uh, what I'm really afraid of because I just went through, because it's not just her went through it. We went through mm -hmm. the change of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, taking things out and giving things away um, and things like that. And just, I don't know. I don't want to get to the point that I'm like, all right, I'm ready to stitch for mania. And then I'm like, I don't like this. Yeah, true. And I just don't want to get to the point. So anyway, true. sorry, that was a long, no. I, I digressed. It's okay. Do you want to talk about your whip this week? Yes. Benjamin Drew. Good old Ben. Souls Band. A little, little BD action right here. I kept the thing. The NYX card. So that's what I'm working on right now. And I'm like 10... He's made so much progress. I'm 10 stitches away from meeting my end of February goal. And you're like, Nate... Or tech guy, or whatever you want to call me, bearded wonder, whatever. Bearded wonder. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do in the next couple of days if you're free? I gotta do this whole yeah, border, border yeah. because I am not ready for the next two pages. And the next two pages, uh, I'm gonna be looking at the pattern and stitching at the same time. I had the luxury on this top third um, that I can just. Get into a certain angle and just in and out, in and out, in and out. So, so if you watch our video from next week, or from, if you... Future. <laughs> if you can watch our video from next week. And let us know. Right now, and let us know what we talk about. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> if you, I'm telling y'all, it is exhaustion has set in. Okay, if you watch our video from last week, then we figured out he wants to have this finished by Mania. And I figured out there are six pages and there are three months until Mania. So if he gets two pages done per month, and he, that's what he's talking about. He's ten stitches away from having those two pages done in February. I'm glad you can so. explain it way better than I can. Whew, that was a lot. You're, it's like we've known each other since we were seven. I know. Weird. Okay, so I realized when I was pulling this out to work on this, uh, this weekend, I have not showed shown y'all this picture in a while because I've just been talking about it instead. So I am working for my sampler 2020. I am working on the drawn thread. Uh, this is Sunny Side Sampler, and um, this is such a joy to work on. And the fact that I'm only working on it once a week excuse me, is keeping my joy in this project. So, you know, I stitch it as much as I can on Saturday. The last few Saturdays, I've not had a ton of we had time. A uh, but when I can, I've just so much enjoyed this. So this is what I'm working on for Sampler 2020. Um, we have a video where we talk about why it's called Sampler 2020 and all the things. And so this is the sampler that I chose. I love to stitch houses that's like my thing that is your thing i love that um it's not my it's not like mine you can't have it it's just something that i really like to stitch you, on. you enjoy and so um yeah so i got this week and she stitches by hand i am stitching by hand for today um we'll talk about that uh, so this is where I've gotten done so far. Alright, so I finished Beautiful. the alphabet at the bottom and I've got the windows and door put in on the second house. So here's my problem. I need to have uh, one page every two months done for me to like care because I want to work on it throughout the whole year. So one page every two months and 
the end of my page that I'm at, like I have everything fully done except for the specialty stitches. That is my caveat to that two page or one page in two months. Uh, I need a little help on the specialty stitches. I need a little help on some of the specialty stitches. And so I will take it to keepsakes one day and just sit down at the table and be like, who can help me? So this is what I've gotten done so far. So this house right here is actually like split in half during the, like on the page. page. So I wasn't quite sure, like, do I try and like do that or do I go ahead and flip pages? But I'm just gonna go ahead and flip pages. So I got a, quite a bit of work done on that. I finished the letter at the bottom, the letters at the bottom and then those windows. So I didn't have a ton of time, but I did. Um, this next piece, I've been working on the Heartstring Samplery Baby It's Cold Outside. So it's the Baby It's Cold Sal that it, uh, Lost in Floss is doing um, that Leanne and Barb had started last year. And um, when we heard that Jen and um, Gulf, to, Gulf Coast Stitchers were doing a, like, like a revamp of that in memory of Leanne, I was 100% on board. All in. 100% on board. Y'all, we got the sweetest card from Leanne's uh. family earlier this week. I bawled like a baby again. And we're just thinking about them and about Barb and, you know, these months go by and it doesn't get easier. And eventually it will, you know, you just... Um, it's just a hard thing. And so to hear from her family and all of that was just a really sweet moment this week. Yes. So um, as I told you all last week, I had to rip out. I had a bunch of the barn done and I had to rip a lot of that out. So I spent this week ripping that out and then starting fresh on some of those parts. So here's where I'm at so far. On a key snap. Yes. Yeah, so I actually had all of this done all of this roof done and down had to rip out all of the roof and down i only had this left that was from my original start so i then just traveled over and started so yeah it's a yeah like awesome. i said i didn't have a ton of time to stitch this week but that's what i got done and um i really enjoyed working on those things i liked taking it just really slow and believe it or not when i had the flu i didn't want to stitch at all like, i just who wanted does? to lay down and yeah, not do anything like, please, no one touch me. So, yeah. This Which is was, true. Yeah. We don't have any finishes. I wish I can show a finish. I know, me too. I wish I can, like, stitch something really short, but I get distracted. So. Well, you just like really big pieces. I do like really big pieces. Yeah. Um, some floss tubers we have watched this week. I've been watching Stitching in the Cabin, uh, or Stitching at the Cabin. I don't remember which. We'll link them down below. Um, it's a mom and daughter and they're just really fun and quirky and so I've uh, just watched a couple of their videos here in the last few weeks and so they're really fun. Uh, they are working on a piece that is ginormous, like absolutely ginormous and so that was really interesting to me. Um, like they can cover up with the piece of cloth that they're stitching on. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like a bookcase or a library. I don't remember what it's called. I'll have to check them out. Um, let's see, we just started watching some of the Elegant Thread, which I've watched her before, but she's going to be attending our class in Nashville, and, um, so we wanted to watch, uh, the people who are attending our class obviously, like, have a floss tube or some type of YouTube channel, so we want to make sure that we get through those list of people. Yeah. So, we've been watching the Elegant Thread, we watched, um, who else did we watch? I'm I watched Park Hopper Bart. Fa yes, you watched Park Hopper I Bart. Was... We watched Fabric Creations yep. uh, with Phyllis. Um, it's just, yeah, we've got, we're, we're yeah. spending more time on trying to uh, reach out of our, I wouldn't say circle. That's yeah. just, nah. No. That, sound, that sounds like really No, bad. we just have like a list of people we watch like on the regular and we've just gotten into this routine and we kind of want to expand that routine a little bit more. Expand so. our library, our horizon, yeah. if you will. Yes. Um, so all the people that we have uh, watched, uh, we'll get down in the comments below um, so we can share them with you guys because, yeah. in you know. In the description, not the, the comments. Not the comments. Thanks. <laughs> in the description box yes. below, right next to the subscription button that you can click and hit all. <laughs> So, uh, we just want to share uh, what we're watching with y'all, and then if you guys can uh, comment down below on what you're watching too. 
Yeah. Um, I kind I love that aspect. They're like, hey, check these out. Check these yes. people. Like, I want to do that. Yeah. So it's we really want fun. to do that. Um, kind of spread the love, spread the or share it, um, things like that. So yep, it's really hard for me because with YouTube guidelines, you can't do uh, like uh, different. Um, you can't do like different songs and things like that. And I am very a musical person. Everything has a song to me. So everything you're saying, like show us the love and show them the love. And I'm like thinking of a song in my head and I don't want to get flagged from YouTube for singing it. Speaking about copyright, if you want to go over to Park, Park Hopper Bart, he has a, a little video or two talking about, um, he's in a, and I'm going to butcher this and I'm sorry, like an, he's a librarian for the orchestra of where he lives. Oh, cool. um, it's super cool. And he's talking about like copyright and things like that. Not too serious. Don't like, don't go down there and be like, it's something to check out for sure. Oh, that's cool. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. So he's, he's like something that about, um, his job and his love, um, you know, is so copyright and that protects, um, uh, the people that who compose the music. And then we're going into a world of out of print stuff and things like that. I had you, hmm. Um, and he has some information that he's been researching, things like that, which so is very, very interesting to me and to us. Um, it's just super, super cool. And, you know, he's a gentleman with a beard, super awesome. Um, and he's he loves stitching. So yeah. anyway, really check cool. that out, too. So I um, learned really a lot cool. of information from other different floss tubers and different views and things like that, which I'm all about. Yeah. Um, so you guys will see us one more time before we leave for market. Well, yeah. Um, and then I think we're going to, yeah, today's Wednesday. We'll film on Sunday night. We'll film on Sunday night or Monday night. We may. And then, um, yeah, we've never been to market before. So if you've been to market and have any pointers, uh, we would love to hear them. So comment down below with those. That'll be really exciting. What? I'm thinking about your t-shirt idea that you and I talked about. Guys, I wanted to make us t-shirts that said this little piggy went to market and he thinks that's the dumbest thing in the world. I didn't say dumb. What did you say? I said nobody's going to understand that. That's what I said. No, he's like, you're going to have to explain that. There, nobody's going to understand that. Nope. I thought it was hilarious to put this little piggy goes to market, but. You can explain it anyway. to people who wouldn't understand that. The little, the little uh, thing, like the children's, this little piggy goes to the market, this little piggy stays home, this little piggy has roast beef, this little piggy has none, and then this little piggy goes... Wee, 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 all the way home. Yes. So, I wanted to make fun little shirts, but... Maybe anyway, next year. Whatever. We'll put that in the back of our yeah. idea box. Yeah. So, alright, well, let us know uh, in the comments down below if you've ever been to market and things that we should definitely do there. And what you're looking forward and to. And what you're looking for. Sorry, we have a child playing right here with a toy. The five inch, five year old, five year five, old. <laughs> five inch old. <laughs> the five year old. Inch one. So, yes, because he just turned five. Yep. So, anyway. Alright, well, you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for joining us in the hive today, and we will see you in a few days. Bye.